Today I want to talk about Kate Middleton. I want to talk about the picture which she managed to create, to fabricate. Kate Middleton is known, is blessed, is told by the establishment that she is an amateur photographer. An amateur photographer is somebody that should be taking pictures, not somebody that's a graphic designer. In order to go and create a picture that Kate Middleton's created, you've got to be an illustrator, you've got to be a graphic designer, you've got to go to art college, you've got to, or you've got to go to, on a course, you've got to know how to use filters, you've got to know how to use different layers, different effects, you've got to have different sources of materials, you've got to use green screens, you've got to, um, cut things you've got to use a wand you've got to use all sorts of technical things and it takes quite a while to do it and to create a picture of that standard by Kate Middleton you've got to be very good you've got to be really good because to the naked eye it's almost impossible to see so good was it that APC Press I think it was and other news agencies they were fooled they were bamboozled they were conned by this wonderful piece of art this masterpiece of propaganda I think Kate Middleton studied art history at university where she met Prince William but art history is about reading books not about making art and she has really made an art out of making propaganda to fool the public that she's happy well and healthy now why would you then I don't think that she did it I don't think she's able to do it and all of the media now are sort of saying leave Kate alone you know poor Kate poor this poor that look 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 she didn't she didn't make the photograph up but she's taken the fall for it because she's always tested as the sort of the good girl, the girl that does everything for the royal family, the girl that sort of sacrificed herself, the girl that wants to do her best. And she's even known as Keen Kate because she's so keen to impress, she's so keen to do the right thing. So she's obviously taken the fall for the royal family, saying that she's done something that she hasn't. And everyone knows, everyone knows she hasn't done it. So what is all this about? Well. Kate is now lied to the public, so now she is dishonest. But because everyone loves Kate and she's so perfect, we can't have her as some evil liar like Prince Andrew, who's been accused of paedophilia. And we can't have her as some liar like Prince Harry, who's trying to destroy the royal family and her husband and bring everything down with his new wife in America and call everyone a racist and a whatever else that he needs to call people and label people from his psychiatric chair. Why is this happening? Well, it's happening because you need to change the guard. The guard needs to be changed because what has happened for a thousand years, a thousand five hundred years, two thousand years with kings, with emperors, going all the way back from the Egyptians to the Greeks to the Romans, going through the uh, Ottoman Empire, going through the European Empire, going through the British Empire, going through to the American Empire. We've had humans that are in power and they've taken different um, places. You had pharaohs, then you had emperors, then you had um, imperial emperors, then you had uh, uh, kings, then you had prime ministers, then you had presidents. All the same thing, but in different manners, in different expressions, slightly different laws, sort of giving more freedom, taking more freedom away from people. But the office of controller as a human has always been there. Now, when you take away kingship and you take away the earls, the lords and the ladies and the princes and the dukes, you then give those positions to other people in industry. Now they become captains of industry. So instead of you having inbreds that run the world, now you've got capitalists that run the world. And the capitalists do a job much better than the inbreds because it's more about talent. However, you take more uh, freedoms away from people and you create a, a slave race and a prison system um, much in the same way, but, in, but through different spectacles as someone as a, as a fuel system in the past. And this system needs to, needs to change. You've got Harry, which is knocking the system down from America, sending over atom bombs, sending over missiles, cruise missiles, taking people out, calling people racist. You know, he's, he's attacked his father, he's attacked his brother, he's attacked Kate Middleton. Um, you've got Prince Andrew, which has been accused of paedophilia, um, you know, being with very young children or not so young children, but still children and being friends with uh, Jeffrey Epstein and going out with uh, Madame, Madame Giselle or Giselle Maxwell, who's now in prison for um, paedophilia. And you've also got um, other people which are dying in the royal family now. Uh, Princess Gabriella or something like that. Her husband's just suddenly died and she's got links to the Middletons because she went out, I think, with Pe Pippa Med Middleton, who's the sister of Kate Middleton, who's the Princess of Wales, who's going to be the future queen. So you've got all sorts of people sort of dying around, people going missing, things being covered up. And it's happening because if you look at the royal families in Europe, they're all being downsized. The princes are being stripped of their titles. In Denmark, I think it was, 
uh, Marguerite, I think her name was, she stripped her grandchildren of titles. They don't want lots of people all over the world having these titles and using those titles to make money. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a different cycle of energy come in. As you go through different different energies, energies, you get different manifestations, don't you? And so this manifestation is going into technology. So the new titans of industry, the new controllers are going to be technocrats. And we're going to have, you know, people like the Bill Gates, people like the Elon Musks. They're going to be the leaders because they're the ones behind technology. They're the ones behind AI. And AI is going to control humanity. But what you need is people to program humanity. So the way in which the way in which AI is programmed is going to be the character of which humanity is going to manifest. So when you start banning particular things, when you start um, censoring particular things, you start to change the character of humanity. You can't be like that. You have to be like that in a good way, in a bad way or whatever way. When you start to change the education, when you tell children you've got to believe this, this is propaganda, this is the new world order, this is how you've got to think, this is transgender, this is racism, this is new white or black race theory, this is changing history, this is the elders getting it wrong, this is um, the uh, world going to shit, this is the polar ice caps melting. All of this stuff changes the way that you think, changes your perception of the world and changes your behaviour. And you have people which are going to be in charge of this. Who's in charge of digital money, the programmable money? Who's in charge of the banking? Those are going to be the earls, the lords, the barons of the future. Those are the people that are going to control us. And as you go, the, what's worked in the past for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand years, what's worked in the past, the rules that have worked in the past, no longer work in the future because we're going from a human led society to a technological led, led society and the technological led society doesn't need humans it needs to get rid of humans because humans are a threat it says it can do things better than humans but there's a lot of things it can't do better than humans for instance to feel to intuit to understand to speak to connect to connect to nature it can't do things like that so all of those things that we as humans need in order to live to be human we're going to get rid of so that we can go on to a technological world which will take us on to a different type of existence or a different type of evolution if you think about the different worlds of evolution you've got the minerals the mineral kingdom gave birth to the plant kingdom the plant kingdom gave birth to the animal kingdom the animal kingdom gave birth to the human kingdom the human kingdom has given birth to the transhuman kingdom so the new kingdoms which are now going to start taking place is basically the evolution of humanity through to technology. So humans are now going to take over the role of God and God will become godless. And God is a difficult word to understand anyway because it's got a lot of weight and baggage attached to it. But if you use consciousness, if you say there's an intelligence which has managed to lead humanity with all of its wisdom, humans are now showing hubris by saying no or Icarus. They're saying, no, we can do this better than you. We want to be in charge of our DNA. We want to be in charge of our plight. We want to be in charge of our direction. We want to be in charge of who we are. So what you'll see is you'll start seeing humans start changing into animals. You, they'll change their skin. They'll change their intelligence. They'll change their body shape. They'll change their perceptions. They'll change everything because the new race of human can only be the new race of human if it separates itself from human. So to have a ruler which is human still is still not good. It should be humans, human society ruling humans. It shouldn't be the kings ruling humans. But to have a technological computer ruling humans is a step further out of the, the way that humans can rule themselves. Is a step further away from the way that humans can rule themselves. And what we're going to see is we're going to see the further dissolution of the royal family. We're going to see the royal family start to get smaller and smaller and become more peripheral to start meaning less and less and less. And then we'll start to see the new barons come in, the new titans come in, the new kings come in. And they will take on different positions and different names. And slowly, 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 we as humans will revert into the same system of being a slave and having an elite. Slave, elite, slave, elite. The police will be the middle class. And the police are not there to protect the people, they're there to protect the elites against the people.